Hey guys, welcome to the fourth and final video on how to solve a 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. In this video, we'll be learning how to solve the top layer of the Rubik's Cube. We'll be solving this using two simple steps. The first one being solving the corner pieces of the cube. And the final step being solving the edge pieces of the cube. Now, let's get started. To solve the corner pieces of our cube, the very first thing we have to do is to look around the top layer of our cube. We're looking for any solved corner pieces, or in other words, any corner piece with matching colors. In our case, there is no matching corner pieces, so we have to learn our very next algorithm. It goes like this. L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime. Now you can see we have our fish. So this is just basically a cutout of our last algorithm. We're simply just putting this in into our next algorithm. So now this is how it goes. R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. You might have noticed that this algorithm was basically a few new moves along with our previous algorithm. So it's very easy to remember. Now for our next step, we simply, again, we simply look around our top layer of the cube. Once more, we're looking for solved corner pieces. And here it is, solved corner pieces. This edge piece is also solved, that does not matter. Because just because the other corner pieces are not solved, this does not count as a solved face. Now we can simply move this piece over so it aligns with its corresponding face, like so. Now we keep this in a left palm. See left palm. Now we do our algorithm once more. L prime, U, R, U prime, L, U, R prime. Now we have a fish, R, U, R prime, U, R, U2, R prime. Now there it is. That's it. That's our solved corner pieces. Here we are. Welcome to our eighth and final step. In this step, we're simply going to move these top edge pieces in either a clockwise or anti-clockwise fashion to match them up with their faces. So for example, we have this one red edge piece over here. It shouldn't be in green, it should be red over here. But where this red edge piece should be, there's a blue edge piece. This should actually be all the way over here. And this green edge piece should be all the way over here. Now, to do this, you can either learn a clockwise or anti-clockwise algorithm. Either you can learn both of them and do it in a fast fashion, according to in which way the edge pieces are aligned. Either that, or you can simply learn one algorithm. If you learn one algorithm, you simply have to repeat it more times. It will be slower, but it's easier to learn. I will be teaching you both, so watch this video until the end. So now, before we start though, if you do not have a fully solved face, Keep watching, I'll teach you how to solve that bit. But if you do have a fully solved face, keep that at the back of your cube. Next, we can do our algorithm. And it goes like this. F2, U, R prime, L, F2, R, L prime, U, F2. Now that is your fully solved cube using the clockwise algorithm. If we wish to move these edge pieces in an anti-clockwise motion, we must do this next algorithm. It goes like this. F2, U prime, R prime, L, F2, R, L prime, U prime, F2. That is your solved cube using the anti-clockwise algorithm. Now, what will we do if we don't have any solved edge pieces? If we don't have any solved edge pieces, like in this case over here, what we have to do is create the solved face. Now, this is how we do it. First, we do not have to care about alignment or anything because there's no solved faces. We simply do either a clockwise or anti-clockwise algorithms. So I'm gonna do a clockwise algorithm. F2, U, R prime, 
L, F2, R, O prime, U, F2. Now you can see we have one solved face. We can put this at the back of the cube. We then examine the cube and look at the edge pieces. We look if it's clockwise or anti-clockwise. So it's anti-clockwise, right? So this is how we do it. Once more, we do our anti-clockwise algorithm. F2, U prime, R prime, L, F2, R, L prime, U prime, F2. And that is how we solve the 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. That was it. We just learned how to solve a 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube. Now, if you have any questions, please ask them in the comment section and I'll be happy to answer them. Now finally, just to wrap up, let's take a fully scrambled 3x3 three three Rubik's Cube and solve it together. So our very first step, the intuitive one, the daisy. That's your daisy. Now for the white cross. That was our white cross. Now for the full white face. That was our white face and our first layer completed. Now for the second layer. That's our second layer. Now for the yellow cross. That's your yellow cross. And now for the full yellow face. That's your full yellow face. Now for the corner pieces. That's all our corner pieces. Now to solve the entire cube. That's our fully solved 3 by 3 Rubik's Cube. So our four-part beginner's Rubik's Cube series has come to an end. Note that I said beginners. We still have many more methods to learn, including the advanced methods, so it can be faster than ever. We also have other cubes and many more interesting things on our channel, so if you haven't clicked on the subscribe button, please click it now. I also click on the notification button so you'll be informed about future videos. So see you in my next video.